वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश ट्वेल्व सो स्टेटमेंट इज द लोड इज सपोर्टेड बाय फोर थ्री जीरो फोर स्टैंडर्ड स्टील वायर दैट आर कनेक्टेड टू द रिजिट मेंबर ए बी एन डी सी डिटरमाइन एंगल ऑफ टिल्ट ऑफ ईच मेंबर आफ्टर फाइव हंड्रेड पाउंड लोड इज अप्लाइड द मेंबर वर ओरिजिनली हॉरिजेंटल एंड ईच वायर हैज क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव इंच सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ मेंबर ए बी एन दिस इज मेंबर सी डी ईच इज supported by these four three ropes that is d e e c and g b that is having area 0.025 and that are made up of 304 stainless steel so due to this load 500 pounds so you have to determine the angle of tilt of each member so angle of tilt for due to this load it will be uh, after calculation you will see this will tilt like that and this one will tilt like that i have already solved problem 4-11 in which i have explained each and everything so this is in continuation of problem 4-11 so the given data is uh, 4304 stainless steel wire so by using the property table at the end of book you will find the modulus of elasticity for 304 stainless steel is 28 into 10 is to power 6 psi all the areas of wires are given 0.025 inch and load is 500 pound so you have to find the angle of tilt of each member after 500 load is applied so let's start with the solution so first of all you will find the forces in each of these wire clear so what we will do is that first we will take the uh, free body diagram for ab so you can see this is the ab so this load will be fah this will be fbg and there is a load of 500 pounds the length is 3 feet from a to i and from i to b this is 1 feet i have represented the free body diagram over here so if you apply the first equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 so moment about point a is due to this load 500 into perpendicular distance is 3 pound and that will be counter clock uh, that will be in clockwise direction so minus 500 into 3 plus this force fbg and perpendicular distance is this 4 feet so fbg into 4 feet and that that will be counter clockwise so that is mentioned over their sum must be equal to 0 so from this equation you will get fbg is equal to 375 pound now you have this fbg you can apply in either equilibrium condition that sum of all uh, forces along y direction must be equal to 0 so this force plus this force plus this force their sum must be equal to 0 so fah plus 375 which is fbg and minus 500 which is this their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get fah is equal to 125 now you know that this the force in this loop is fbg and that is equal to 375 pounds similarly force in this is fah and that is equal to 125 pounds now we will calculate the forces in this loop so for that we have to draw the free body diagram of member dc so you can see this is f uh, uh f f c and this will be e uh, f e this will be f e d so you can see this is the member clear this is f f c and this is f f d now this f a h will be downward because you have already calculated here this was f a h upward so here it will be downward so we will find this f d e and f c f so for what we will do is that we will apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point d is equal to 0 so per f a h into perpendicular distance is 1 feet and that is clockwise already mentioned over here plus f c f into perpendicular distance is 3 feet and that will be counter clockwise so from here you will get f c f is 41.67 pound now we will apply 
apply uh, in other equilibrium uh, condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero so f d e plus f c f minus f a h is equal to zero so f d is not known f c f is 41.67 minus f a h which is 125 but that is negative because here it is in downward direction so when you put you will get f d e is equal to 83.33 pounds now you know the force in this 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 and this rope so we will find the change in length due to each force so for uh, for this rope change in length will be de and for this low rope change in length will be del f or you can any, take anything uh, we will consider the points so we will take d and c points so first change in length is equal to sigma d is equal to f d e into length of d e divided by area of d e into e so you have f d e mentioned over here length is this one which is e three feet area is given and e is also available so you can easily put it in this formula f d clear so f d is 83.33 this is the f d e length is three feet but it is converted into inch so three into 12 will be in inch area is 0 0.025 and e is 28 into 10 to the power 6 so when you calculate you will get displacement of point d will be this one 0 0.004285 inch similarly you can also find the displacement of point c by using formulas del c is equal to f f c into l f c divided by area of f c into e so f f c is 41.67 LFC is 3 feet, area is given as 0 0.02 and E is also given as 28 into 10 to the power 6 PSI. So you can put it in this formula and you will get the del C. Now if I draw this beam DC like this original point, this is point H where we have a load of FAH clear this is point d and this is point c so you can see point d will move 0 0.004287 so let this is displacement that is mentioned over here and at point c you have this much displacement which is approximately half of clear now this is del c and this is de uh, sorry this is del d that is mentioned over here this is del c that is mentioned over here so it means that till this point sorry uh, till this point they have the same displacement del c but this is greater so this is equal to 0 0.002149 because half of this will be this one clear and total length is three feet so we can find the angle of tilt so this will be the angle of tilt if i draw it so this will be the angle of tilt and let this angle is alpha so if we take tangent of alpha so tangent of alpha will be equal to this distance which is 0 0.002149 so 0 0.002149 divide by 3 feet so 3 into 12 which is 48 so when you calculate it you will get angle of tilt will be equal to 0 0.00341 degree uh, sorry this is uh, not this if you find the value of this n then you take alpha is equal to tangent inverse 0 0.002149 divided by 48 so you will get alpha is equal to 0 0.00341 degree so this is the angle of tilt for member 
CD. Clear? Now we will move to this member AB. So for that, again you have to find the force which is already available. So you will find the del A and del B. So how you will find? So del A is equal to uh, again, you can see that due to this loading uh, already this point H moves so we, what we will do is that uh, del A H okay so if I draw this is the beam A B clear so what we will do is that Again, you can see that this point will move del A and this will point move it del B. So we will find del B first. So del B is this one, which is FBG into LBG divided by this area. So you will get del B is 0 0.0034, 3 to 1. So B point will move this much distance, which is represented over here. We do not know about point A. So what we will do is that... Uh, point a will move this distance which is del h as this h this point a will move already this h distance downward plus the displacement of this point which is del a okay so del h i have explained it what how we calculate this del h so you can go to problem 4.11 and you can learn how you will get this del h now del a is equal to uh, this is the point a so point a you will have uh, total displacement is equal to del h plus a with respect to h so del h is this one already calculated and del a h is equal to f a h l a h divided by this so you will get the displacement of point A due to this load F A H. So when you sum this, you will get del A will this one. Clear? Now you can see del B is this while del A is this. So del A is less. So this is your del A, which is 0 0.00429. Again, you can see that Till this point they will have the same displacement there but here from here the tilt will start and B point will move to this new point B dash so this will be your angle which is lead beta so we will calculate this angle beta and this beta will be equal to tangent of beta will be equal to this distance which is equal to 0 0.032148 minus this one and when you calculate it you will get this distance will be equal to 0 0.0247143 so 0 0.0247143 divided by this base and this base is 4 feet 1 plus 3 so 4 feet into 12 will convert it into 48 inch so again when you solve it you will get beta is equal to tangent inverse 0 0.0247143 divided by 48 and it will give you beta is equal to 0 0.0295 degree so this is the angle of tilt the this will go this will go down and then this will tilt beta that is for 4.43 uh, sorry 0 0.029 degree beta is equal to 0 0.0295 degree while this one this one will tilt like this both will go down up till certain distance and then it will tilt like this and this is your alpha and alpha is equal to 0 0.00341 degree these are very minute angles you cannot even feel the difference 
and this is how we calculate the angle of tilt i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you have any problem you can ask me in comment section and if you are confused about this problem which i have explained so i will suggest you to go to problem 4.11 watch it and then come back to this problem thank you